With just days before Saturday's big game, one store in Maumee is completely split down the middle. One half Ohio State and one half Michigan. So whether or not you make all your shots, or you put them that far long like me, odds are your local golf course has seen it all this summer. A Toledo Speedway will host 24 cars, a lot more powerful than this one, in the Arca Menard Series Championship here tomorrow. Both Whitmer and Clay will together have a joint orange out at the game to promote gun safety. I did get the chance to talk to Toledo police earlier today, and they told me there were no updates on this case. So if you want your chance to see some of these massive RC cars, you have until Sunday to come down to the Wood County Fairgrounds. The Monroe County Fair might seem like every other local fair going on this summer, with French fries and peanuts right behind me. But if I turn the camera around right now, you're going to see something that you don't see at every local fair. The world-famous Flying Walendas are performing. Gabrielle Grigsby is just like every other 17-year-old. She's off from school, hangs out with her friends, and was excited to get her driver's license at 16. Most of the people are like, are you crazy? Except she was probably a little more excited to drive than you. This is her race car that she races at Toledo and Flat Rock Speedway. Like, I have a bunch of my friends that will come out during the races and come out to support me. In the state of Ohio, you can get your driver's license at 16. But imagine racing a half-mile track against people double your age and winning all before you turn 18. It's really exciting, and it just brings up, like, the first time I won a race, it was on my birthday at the beginning of the season, and I was just like... She's never had to race alone because she grew up watching her dad, who races in the division above her. I didn't want to jump her into it too fast because you don't want to burn somebody out, but at the same time, um, I was really excited when she wanted to do it. He got into racing from his late father, who passed his lucky number onto both of them. It's really just the family number. Together, they make up Breezy Racing, named after Gabrielle, of course. The 17-year-old girl is a fan favorite at both tracks. She has a, a pretty large fan base already at Toledo and at Flat Rock, so I kind of just sit back and smile. I actually enjoy watching her drive more than, than me driving myself. Well, now that you know who they are, the only thing left to do is come to Toledo Speedway and watch them drive past on the weekend. The Black Swamp Banshees are a different kind of club sport. They don't play volleyball or dodgeball. They have to dismount from their broom, run all the way back to where their hoops would be. This club plays Quidditch. Yes, that is the sport from the Harry Potter movies and books. Big Harry Potter fan as a whole, um, and uh, also a big sports fan, so just kind of both worlds combined. Quidditch is always my favorite part of the movies. I wish they had more of it in the movies. The game is highly physical, like rugby, and involves many Harry Potter-accurate positions, like seekers and beaters. Okay. And yes, the broom must stay between your legs at all times. So you might be thinking, wow, that seems a little bit complicated. But really, all you need to know is if you throw this ball through any one of these three hoops, you get 10 points. Go into how, oh, it's a bunch of nerds running around. And I got to tell you, as someone who com comes from a bunch of physical sports and back, I was an all-state athlete in lacrosse. Like, this is, this is where it's at. And the game is more popular than you'd think. According to their website, U.S. Quidditch serves an average of 3,500 athletes and 150 teams each season nationwide. These Banshees just hope to be the first in Toledo. It's co-ed, so you, I mean, I literally met my wife playing Quidditch, so, you know, if you come out, you might even meet your spouse, so. Oh, it's no all genders. Whoever you are, we accept you. So if this caught your interest and you want to take your shot at any of the three hoops, then you can check out the Black Swamp Banshees on Facebook. In Toledo, Derek Hyde, NBC 24 News.